Hello, this is Todd Berner with the Bross Company. Today we're going to take a look at GraphWorks, which is the graphical portion of Genesis 32, used to create displays and create graphics for your applications. It can be used standalone or part as a complete SCADA application. It's a human machine interface that uh, allows you to develop for web delivered applications via browser, uh, pocket uh, PC applications uh, for portable apps, uh, as well as embedded devices or standalone PC SCADA applications. It's a very flexible development environment. One development environment can be deployed in multiple devices and applications. I'm going to start out here and uh, take a look at transparency. As you can see here, uh, we have the ability to select a color as a transparent color. And uh, when we do that, we can toggle uh, between uh, that color and, and that allows us to actually uh, make a, a portion of our display uh, invisible or see-through, so to speak. Going into the uh, format here into the display properties and I'm going to select that pink color there that was on the display and and make it my transparent color for this application and uh, I'll go ahead and apply this go back into uh, runtime and uh, now that uh, it's in runtime I'll uh, toggle that and you can see my display behind the GraphWorks image so if you have uh, things that you want accessible through the display, that's a handy feature. Take a look at our expression editor. You can see we have the ability to uh, create expressions uh, on a pick action or, or any action that we want to use within the product, and whether it's math, uh, arithmetic, uh, or relational, or whether we have some uh, uh, other math functions. You can see uh, conditional or sine, cosine, uh, browse to specific tags, bitwise, logical, and also string functions. We'll pop into configuration here and uh, just resize this and I'll drop a, a process point here and uh, instead of going right to the tra tags I'll go to uh, the expression editor. So here from the expression editor you can once again go to your tags and uh, browse to a, a wide variety, whether it be OPC, which is what I'm doing here, or SNMP, uh, or database uh, points, and use them within the expression. And then that will be uh, visualized here on the display. You'll see a, a tag once we go back into runtime here. So that can be an expression of multiple tags. Now we'll take a look here and uh, take a look at the VB scripting um, as well as the J scripting function and a pick action or a button can be used to uh, assign a pick to run a VB script as this shows or uh, our VBA script or a VB script or a JavaScript this JavaScript is changing the color of the display so it's powerful you can uh, it'll run the whatever version of Java is installed on the machine and whatever version of VB you uh, use for your application. And uh, take a look here at uh, some of the image types you can use. And you'll notice you can bring in a wide variety of images, GIFs, uh, bitmaps, PNGs, TIFFs. Also once you bring in an image you can rotate it uh, as well, which is a pretty cool function. Uh, draw lines around the uh, image or um, make uh, part of the image 3D, add 3D effects or uh, like this image is uh, using the transparent uh, function to make the, the red piece transparent so that it doesn't show up so it looks uh, uh, more, you know you can looks like a real gauge or the freeze object function which will freeze an object to the display uh, so if you want to freeze an object, make sure you don't move it while you're developing other portions of the display. That's a pretty cool function as well. We have a, a powerful symbol library. You can create uh, 
your own custom symbols and store them in this library, uh, smart symbols, so all the dynamics can be pre-attached to the symbol. You can have your own categories and your own uh, category names and, and uh, your own file names. Here's our uh, animator. You can uh, very easily uh, animate objects to pre, uh, provide yourself a, a, an illusion of animation. Selecting these three objects and using the animator it makes it look as though products fallen out of the tank onto that platform. When we turn it off, there's nothing there. Turn it back on, products fallen out of the tank. And this is a snapshot of the animator tool. So you can uh, select multiple objects and animate them. Here is our uh, learning center, which is powerful, installs with Genesis 32. It's part of the, uh, the gen demo that installs and allows you to learn how to use different functions. Uh, this is a pick action, uh, which is a button and buttons can be used to pop up sub-windows.